Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. my own individual intentions and for the intentions suffered in this mass we continue to pray for all of us filipinos that we faithfully heed our health protocol so that god can save us from this pandemic in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in the holy eucharist when today we remember saint vincent de paul priest let us first call to mind our sins and ask the lord for pardon and mercy let us pause for a short moment to examine ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest Saint Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, Grant, we pray, that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. This word of the Lord hosts came. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am intensely jealous for Zion, stirred to jealous wrath for her. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion, and I will dwell within Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, old men and old women, each with staff in hand because of old each, shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem. The city shall be filled with boys and girls playing in its streets. Thus says the Lord of hosts, even if this should seem impossible in the eyes of the remnant of these people, shall it in those days be impossible in my eyes also, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Lo, 
I will rescue my people from the land of the rising sun and from the land of the setting sun. I will bring them back to dwell within Jerusalem. They shall be my people and I will be their God with faithfulness and justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has revealed Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven. He beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Leo. Glory to you, O Lord. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among you is the one who is the greatest. My brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Monsignor. There is a saying, which I suppose you know very well, which runs this way. To err is human but to forgive is divine. We can also say something like this. To exalt oneself is human, but to humble oneself is divine. Hindi ba ganyan ang tendency natin as humans na nais nating iangat 
ang ating sarili. Lagi nating gustong itaas ang ating bangko. Gusto nating magpasikat. That's being human. But to humble ourselves is divine. Dahil ganyan ang Diyos. Di ba narinig natin, uh, like especially Jesus, St. Paul says something like this, Jesus was in the form of God, but He did not deem to be in equality with God. Rather, He took, he took the form of a slave, being in the likeness of us human beings, and was obedient, obedient up to the point of death. Nakita po natin yan sa ating Panginoong Jesus, no? Siya ay Diyos. Pero nagpakababa siya sa kanyang pagiging katulad nating mga tao upang tayo ay paglingkuran at upang tayo sa bandang huli ay maligtas. Kaya ganyan ang Diyos, hindi nagmamalaki gaya ng tao. Siya ay nagpapakababa para to reach out in order to serve us and to save us. That's why to humble oneself is divine. Ang pagiging mapagpakumbaba ay pagiging maka-Diyos. And this is one lesson that our Lord Jesus taught our disciples, uh, taught his disciples in the gospel reading for today. What occasioned Jesus to do that? Because there was an argument among his disciples about which of them was the greatest. Naku, nagtalo-talo yung kanyang mga alagad kung sino sa kanila ang pinaka-greatest, pinakadakila. So how did Jesus handle this problem? Ang ginawa niya, He took a child and place the child besides him. And that seat beside him, of course, malapit tayo kay Lord. So that is the seat of highest honor. So ibig sabihin yan, ilalagay lang tayo ni Lord sa luklukan ng pinakadakilang uh, karangalan kung tayo ay katulad ng isang bata. Dahil nung kapanahunan ng ating Panginoong Hesus, ang mga bata ay kumakatawan sa pinakamaliit. They are the least in the society. Parang wala nga silang value. That's why... The Lord said in the gospel today, the least among you is the one who is the greatest. So yung pinakamababa, yan ang pinakadakila. Kaya dapat marunong tayo magpakababa, magpakumbaba. At hindi lang basta't magpakumbaba, kundi yung nagpapakababa, para tumulong. Dahil ikaw, pag ikaw ang pinakamababa, ikaw ang pinaka 
serban o alipin ng lahat. Yan ang pinakamababa na magagawa natin na tayo ay magiging taga alag uh, 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 serban o alipin naglilingkod para sa iba. At yan ang sinikap ng ating ginugunita ngayong santo na si Saint Vincent de Paul. Siya ay mataas na tao pero handa siyang magpakababa para paglingkuran ang mga pinakamaliit na mga kapatid natin. Yung mga mahihirap, yung mga nahahapis, yung mga balo, yung mga abandon, yun ang kanyang pinaglingkuran bilang lingkod ng Diyos. Kaya siya ay handang magpakababa para paglingkuran ang kapwa. Kaya sa mata ng Diyos, siya ang pinakadakila dahil ang pinakamaliit o yung nagpapakababa, yun ang pinakadakila sa Diyos. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, our Father, who enabled St. Vincent de Paul to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her with the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. 
And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, host. heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. The highest. To you are uh, indeed holy, O God, our Father, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks a broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O God, our Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O God, our Father, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy, all the religious, and all the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Andrew the Apostle, Saint Vincent de Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we now have the courage to pray to God our Father that he may deliver us from this pandemic. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us, us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, lead us not, not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O God, our Father, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming 
of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, a live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be today. with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but all say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May Jesus bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. So as usual, we will be distributing Holy Communion on the three designated aisles. However, since there are no people here, I will start here in the middle aisle and then in there in the other side aisle here.
Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, O God, our Father, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent de Paul's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel and pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Together, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Andrew, the Apostle. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please be seated for some parish announcement. Come to our Kompensalang Bayan on September 30, Thursday from 5 o'clock p.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. and receive God's love and mercy. Let the Lord forgive us, heal us, and reconcile us. Schedule of Masses from September 27 to October 10, 2021 will be as follows, 6.30 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 12.15 p.m., and 6.30 p.m. October is the month devoted to Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. Let us take time to meditate on Mary and the Eucharist. The Mother of Our Lord is the best person who can help us increase our appreciation for the Eucharist. Let us ask her to draw us closer to the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Join us for the Holy Hour and Scriptural Rosary on October 7, 14, 21, and 28 at 8 o'clock in the evening. It will be live streamed by a St. Andrew the Apostle Abbey page and YouTube channel, Andrew Communication. Thank you. Please all stand. My brother, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God continue to bless you all. Go and rejoice because by following St. Vincent de Paul, serving the least of our brothers and sisters, you are the greatest in the eyes of God. Thanks be to God. God.